Optimal foraging theory. No predator eats everything that is available. Food item selection is an evolutionary construct driven by economy, not etiquette. Therefore, an animal searching for food in a patch must decide when it is economically favorable to leave. The marginal value theorem graphs energy gain or food intake as a function of travel time to patches of food. The tangent to the curve represents maximum net gain of that trip. How much energy you spend influences the amount of energy you need to gain. The amount of time it takes to search for prey depends on the density of the prey. The predator functional response graph shows the grade of prey taken per unit time as a function of food density. These three different types of predict um, foraging behaviors of predators. For type one, feeding rates increase linearly as prey density increases and levels off at a maximum feeding rate. An example is the Lincoln hare. Increasing the number of hare in an environment is directly proportional to the increase of number of lynx. For type two, at first, the feeding rate is slow, limited by search. The rate of prey capture negatively accelerates as it increases with food density. Then at an intermediate stage, the predator spends less time searching for prey and more time handling the prey. The most common example is the sea otter eating urchins. Sea urchins density will level off as the max feeding rate of the sea otter is met. Type three is the uh, class prey switching response. At low densities, feeding rates at a, is slow at first due to the unfamiliarity with prey. Proficiency increases with increased exposure. A lion doesn't normally eat an armadillo, but if their options are limited, the type three model shows the learning, learning curve of the lion to survive. Optimal foraging theory models feeding behavior as an optimizing process. Organisms must work smarter, not harder, and spend as little time as possible eating as much as possible. Optimal foraging theory states that if access to energy is limited, natural selection will favor individuals within a population that maximize their net energy intake per unit time. Optimal foragers capture and consume food with the greatest potential energy density while expending the least amount of time and energy in doing so. Predators forage selectively, and their behavior can be modeled with the goal of maximizing the equation energy over handling time plus search time. Based on prey availability or patch type, predators will forage to gain the most energy from their prey and adjust handling time or search time to compensate for their environment or prey type. Thus, some organisms increase for um, handling and search time as prey. For example, porcupines have structural defenses to increase handling time. For increasing search time, some moths have spots that resemble owl eyes as defensive mimicry. Animals are generalists when profitable prey are rare, so eating anything and every, everything will optimize their energy intake. In an unproductive environment, predators should be generalists because being selective will select against you. Raccoons are a classic, classic example of a generalist. They lower handling time relative to their search time, which allows them to have a broad diet breadth and eat food fast when it is encountered. Animals are specialists when profitable prey are common in selective environments, so they often have narrow diets and consume one or few prey types. Koalas are an example because they only eat eucalyptus leaves. They live in productive environments, which allows them to have shorter search time for high rewards. Thanks for watching. Good luck.